In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to update your firmware. I'll start off by showing you exactly what you need and how to check the existing firmware version. Then I'll show you how to download updated versions from the Pioneer Support webpage. Lastly, I'll show you how to actually update the firmware. To get started, you'll need a computer with internet access to download the firmware files and a USB key or external hard drive to place the firmware on. To check your firmware version, hold down the utility button on the LCD screen. Once the menu appears, scroll to the bottom of the list. Use the rotary encoder to click version number. This will tell you the firmware number that is loaded on your device. Make a note of this number. We will now check online to see if you need to update. Now you'll want to direct your browser to pioneerdj.com support. Hover your mouse over the XDJ arrow. Click on the software link. Now click on the firmware button. Look back to the version number of the firmware currently loaded on your arrow. If it differs from the number listed on the site, you need to update. If the number on the site matches that of your arrow, no further action is required on your part. Next, you will need to agree to the terms and conditions and download the update file. Keep a note of the download location on your computer. Now, place the update file onto the root directory of your USB key. You can now proceed to updating. Before you begin, you must power off your arrow. Then, insert the USB key that contains the update file in the root directory. While you press and hold the echo, trans, and cue buttons on deck 2, power your unit on. This will start the update. Your unit will power off once the update is complete. In the next video, we'll be showing you how to use a USB key with the XDJ arrow. If you have any questions about what we've covered, you can discuss them online with other Pioneer users and Pioneer experts at forums.pioneerdj.com.